temperatures was uh, pretty high. Uh, one thing we want to keep in mind whenever we have uh, grain dust, the grain dust itself was like um, almost like coal dust, like the coal miners in Pennsylvania. It wasn't very healthy. So you had, you know, the guys working in these plants was very much like the coal miners, average age, 40 to 50 years old. That was the average age that these guys lived to. So with that, let's take a walk around this side. Wherever you see cinder block, like this here, this is all new stuff. They didn't have that in 1906. <laughs> but this is when uh, Genesee, Genesee Brewing took over uh, only a short time, between 1984 and uh, 1992 is when they closed their plants. And the same thing with the electric. This stuff was all pretty new. Um, new meaning, you know, like 1980s, uh, late 70s maybe. Uh, prior to that, you'll see a lot of things in here that are mechanical. And before we had electricity, uh, even when we did have electricity, a lot of this was either mechanical and some of it was even run by steam power. Okay. So again, you can see the catwalks up here. We're going to go into this section over here. And again, you know, please watch your step. Now, if you guys want to just go in and turn to your right. Students or teachers of Greek mythology? No? Okay. This is, there's a story behind this figurine. Um, it's, really, it's really pretty neat. Um, first of all, like all of these doors, these are all cast iron doors. These were um, pretty much, they run like these uh, weights, these steel weights. Uh, they're counterweights to make the doors go up and down easily, very much like the sashes on an old window. Okay? Um, and uh, this is a long story, but I'm going to give you the short version of it, okay? <laughs> um, this, is, uh, this is the Greek goddess of grain. Her name was Demeter. And Demeter had a child with Zeus. Zeus was the lord of all gods. And the child's name was Persephone. And Persephone, at a very young age, was abducted by Hades. Hades was the, uh, uh, the lord of the dark underground. Okay, so. What happened was is that uh, Demeter didn't know where her daughter went, and so for many, many years she wandered her, keeping in mind that Demeter not only was the goddess of grain, but she was the goddess of all things that grow, including trees and fruits and um, flowers, anything that grew on earth, she was in charge of it. So she searched the earth for many, many years looking for her daughter with no success at all. Finally, she was so depressed, she goes to Zeus and she says to Zeus that, um, she said, from this point on, there will be no growth on earth. So Zeus is very concerned about all of this. So he goes to Hades, said to be that he knew something about it from the beginning. And he goes down and makes a deal with the devil, makes a deal with Hades. And the deal was is that um, Persephone was allowed to be with her mother Demeter nine months out of every year. The other three months, she had to be with her husband. Now her husband was Hades. So for three months, she had to go back to the dark underground to be with Hades. And those three months that she had to be with uh, Hades was called... Winter. Winter, exactly. Mm -hmm. So whenever Demeter wasn't with her daughter, she stopped all growth on Earth, and that was winter. I found it an interesting story. But what I found more interesting about that is that this place, if we look around, this is a factory. Nobody ever sees this. The guys that work here see it. You know, most of the time the people, you know, the, uh, the wives and children of the workers never see any of this. And this company, these companies back then were so proud of the things they do. They put the time and the energy into putting these doors like this. The brickwork on the outside, when we go to see the brickwork, um, again, it's a factory. They didn't have to do this. Thing. There was a lot of pride in the brewing and the malting industry.